What's going on today guys? Welcome to Southern Hike. I'm Taylor and today we are talking about Bear Vaults. The Bear Vault 450 in particular, they also make the 500. We're going to talk about the durability of it and how much food you can actually put inside. So you know when you go out in the west you're going to deal with a lot of black bears. There's also on the east coast too, more in the northern area. A lot of different places you go to are going to require you to have a bear canister. You can also use a hanging sack in some places, but a lot of the national parks like Yosemite and Rocky Mountain National Park require you to have a bear canister to keep your food in at night when you're backpacking or camping because they do have a lot of bears and it's important to keep your food isolated and separated away from you. If you'd like to know more information about what's the main concept of one, check out this video I'll link above we did before. It is more about how to use it, how to properly use it and where it's going to be used at and then exactly how to set up with your campsite. So check that video out but in this video we're going to talk about the Bear Vault 450 in particular. They also make a 500 model that's a little bit bigger but how much food you can put in it, how to open it and close it. I say this video is, is a review but y'all are looking at me like Taylor it's a big canister there's not much to talk about on it. Well I just want to say that this is pretty durable if you pick up one it's heavy and that's the big thing I talk about in other videos it's super heavy but it's super durable. It's supposed Supposedly works really well against bears. It, they kind of give up on it after a while. As long as you use it properly, it seals pretty well too. And so, not seal like gasket seals, but seals to keep anything out of it. I'll show you how these clips work. There's two on the side that basically you push them in, and then it will move to the side and then you push it again and then there's another lock that you'll get pushed out of the way too and then that's how it opens up. It kind of works sort of like a pill bottle. That's the main concept of how you open it and then you've got this durable body on it and then I tell you, you know, we've loaded ours up with stickers that basically mark it as ours. This is the main concept of it. We're going to go ahead and fill this up with some different snacks I have here. This is all for a day hike. Not just kidding. This is uh, going to be for a two day overnight trip. The main thing is to make sure for strategy of how much you're going to be carrying with with you dehydrated food we don't need to necessarily keep it in the vault in the beginning the first day's food you'll be having at night so we don't really have to keep it in the vault so we'll just carry that in our backpack but once we go through our first day we'll make some more room in this vault we can go ahead and put the remaining dehydrated food into our vault that way it's good to go and sealed up and all of that stuff's in there another important thing is to talk about is keeping all like deodorant toothpaste any scented items you got if you're carrying makeup or anything like that you want to keep those in here also bears can be attracted to that too so let's go ahead and put all this in here and see how much actual stuff we can put in here. When you're doing this, it's important to start with the larger items first. So if you're just carrying, if you're not doing something like these green belly meals to go and you're doing dehydrated meals, you can go ahead and start those in here first. Kind of get with your big bulky items in there. And so today we want to do these. We're going to do the meal to go first. Kind of just organize them in here. So just kind of pack them down in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and put some of the items we like to carry with us that are more personal items, but you know, carry a scent with them. So it's important to keep those away from you while you're in the tent. And then these are some none electrolyte tablets these work great um, they're kind of expensive but we carry these with us it's good for high elevation too to keep your salt up keep your salt up period and so then i take these and just kind of stuff them in everywhere these cliff bars we love cliff bars high calories they taste good and get good flavors and then they've got these espresso ones with caffeine too. These are a good afternoon pick-me-up if you're not wanting to make more coffee. All right, so that's where we're at now. Got some peanut butter packets. Love peanut butter. Put those in there. And then I talk about it in another video. Check out the GSR Infinity Mug, yeah. And I talk about these brew packs. These are really good for making quick coffee and not have to carry extra gear. So on this trip, I'm actually packing this four. We will be using these. Okay guys, so you see I'm pretty full now. I definitely could probably stick two dehydrated meals in here. Probably regular size like Mountain House or Peak Refuel. 
um, these will fit in there pretty well and then still have room so obviously you see now that this it's not going to be good for more than probably two nights on the trail unless you know you don't eat much <laughs> or if you're kind of st strategically carrying it in your pack with this and then packing what you need to pack in here at night. I would recommend going to the 500 if you're going to be doing any more. The 450 kind of maxes out at a two to three night. Now this is for two people. Me and Rachel both will be eating from this food here. So keep that in mind. If it's just you, you probably actually could go further with more days because you can carry more food just for yourself in here. So guys, I hope this kind of shows what exactly can fit into the bear vault. That's it. We've got it completely full. As you can see, that's how much you can get into it. And remember, it's just really about trying to figure out the best approach, how to feel it, how many days you're going to be on the trail, what you can just go ahead and carry in your pack because you're going to be using it that day. That way you can maximize how much you can carry with you you know at a reasonable degree and not carry too much weight and don't over carry too much food just structurally make sure you have enough food for each day and a little i always carry just a little bit extra you never know you might need some extra you might get extra hungry don't get too obsessive with it because that's just carrying a lot of extra weight and then you get back home and like wow i just carried all that all those miles and didn't even really need it so guys, this is the Bear Vault. It's semi like a review, just basically showing how much you can fill in it. It's super durable, worked well for us. Something you have to carry around in a lot of different national parks, but it's worked out pretty well. It gets the job done. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, comment any questions you might have about it. Guys, thanks again for all the subscribers. We greatly appreciate it. We thoroughly enjoy having all y'all on the channel and hoping you enjoy some of the content we're bringing for you outdoor guys and hope we can help anybody that's new to the niche also but it's a great thing to do we love it and thank y'all so much hope you enjoyed this video make sure to stick around next week for another video hit that subscribe button with a notification bell and guys have a great day